researchers in the UK are actually developing technology so people, especially young people, can test uh, their urine or saliva to see if they have a sexually oh. transmitted disease. This sounds crazy. How does that happen? So what they're doing is they're creating a computer chip that's the size of a USB chip and they either put urine or saliva on it and then they put it in a special mobile phone that's designed for this kind of thing and uh, the mobile phone will tell them what their results are. So if they have gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, that kind of stuff, they'll find out. All right, a uh, couple of things here. First of all, since they're using saliva or urine, I know what people are going to do. They're going to be stupid, they're going to get drunk, and they're going to piss on their phone. And then they're like, what? What? I don't get When do I get the results, man? Um, second thing they're going to do is, look, you can test yourself, but you can also test other people without them knowing it. You just got to get a saliva sample. I hope you don't get a urine sample, but a saliva sample, and then all of a sudden, bloop, 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 you're, uh, you know, invading other people's privacy and finding out whether they have sexually transmitted diseases or not. So this has got trouble written all over it. Oh, drama. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about the second possibility. But you're absolutely right. It's easy to get someone's saliva. Yeah, no, no question. And I'll tell you what, the technology is amazing, right? I mean, look, just in a couple of minutes, they let you know whether you have these diseases based on something you're plugging into your phone. That's crazy, dog. Crazy. Jay, are you up so, yeah, I mean, this. The, I guess maybe this is the third possibility. Is first thing that came to mind to me was I wonder how effective it is because you always know that if you get certain tests done with doctors or hospitals or whatever, it's going to be the most, um, you know, it's going to be the best results or at least the most accurate. So I wonder to the extent this will have for people and whether or not they'll just stop going to the doctor to get their own tests because that could be a downside. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned that because that downside is already happening without these tests. P uh, young people. First of all, let me give you a stat that will amaze you, all right? In the UK alone, in 2009 alone, nearly half a million people were diagnosed with an STD. Half a million in 2009 alone. That's amazing, and it's also a record number. Um, so what they wanted to do is create this technology so they can get tested themselves without having to go through the embarrassment of going to a doctor. Because one issue is, most of these people are young. Most of these people are too embarrassed to go to a doctor and get tested for this kind of stuff. So, you know, this vicious cycle continues because they don't get tested and then they go off and they spread these diseases to other people. All right. Uh, first of all, Anna, that uh, stat amazes me. <laughs> no, but okay. that's a lot of people, Jenk. Half no, a million in 2009 alone. No, no. It is a lot. It is amazing. And the fact that two-thirds of girls under 25, or other people getting it are uh, under 25, the girls are, it's two-thirds, et cetera. Uh, that made me think, note to self, don't have sex with young British girls, uh, which I wasn't going to do anyway, so that's one of the upsides of marriage. Score one for the married guys. Okay, but anyway, one other note on this story. Listen, uh, there's the invasion of privacy that maybe you could test other people, right? There's a second invasion of privacy possibility. They're saying, oh, since this is all happening, you know, uh, through your phone, et cetera, et cetera, that it'll be more private. I'm like, no, oh, because yeah. remember, the government does warrantless wiretapping and they're, they're recording everything. So, I mean, if your doctor tells you, that's likely to be private. But if you're doing it over, you know, some sort of, you know, system that is shared with the world, then the government can tap it. 